UDL on Campus, Universal Design for Learning in Higher Education. As an instructor, I'm constantly thinking about whether my course is working for students. What resources are students accessing? How strategic are they in their use of resources? Are they engaged? The Learning Management System, or LMS for online courses, can capture students' actions or click events into a log. You can analyze the log to ask questions, make inferences, and take actions that enhance the learning environment and support effective learning interactions for all students. How you organize the content, or the material, resources, and core information in a course, will impact what student actions the LMS will capture, as well as the event log data that you will see. This video will highlight three strategies for organizing content to generate meaningful log reports. First, set clear objectives for each week. Knowing what students will learn each week is essential for developing and assessing the design of a course. Once you have the learning objectives, focus on providing different ways students can use to achieve them. The more that students are able to achieve the objectives, the more enriching and flexible the course materials will be for all students. In this example, the learning objectives are clearly stated. Participants can get information from reading articles, watching videos, and exploring an interactive online module. They can show their understanding of the content and receive feedback from doing the activity or starting and replying to posts in a discussion forum. Students can choose which options help them meet the week's objectives. The options they choose will generate information I can use, too. Second, organize key resources on their own page. In this example, each key resource has its own page. Thus, each click to view a resource is tracked. When I look at a report of page views, I know that it represents the number of times students have viewed a resource. At a glance, I can see which resources students viewed most so that I can follow up with students to understand why. And third, use meaningful titles for each page. When I view a live report, I see what combination of resources or paths participants are taking through the week. However, if I didn't label each page to reflect what the resource entails, I wouldn't be able to distinguish one resource from another. Assigning meaningful titles is often an overlooked but very critical design strategy. Each page, video, activity, and forum topic has a concise title related to the learning goal of the week. This enabled me to quickly glance at a report or look at a live stream of data and monitor student progress in ways that weren't practical before. Throughout the week, you might look to see what students are doing or what they should be doing but are not and send an email to nudge them along. You might also look at actual student work, such as posts in a discussion forum and results of quizzes to see what might be challenging and address it right away. This video highlighted three strategies for designing an online course that will generate meaningful data. This enables instructors to monitor student progress, who is struggling and who might benefit from additional support. Assess the effectiveness of course design. What isn't working that needs to change? What student interests are emerging? And make immediate changes to fuel their interests and sustain their engagement. As an instructor, having instant access to data to inform instructional decisions from week to week is empowering. But what will be even more empowering is giving students access to the same data. Imagine if every week students can see the quality of work they produced and the actions they took to produce it. They can ask and find answers to their own questions. What am I doing? What is working? What can be improved? By monitoring their own progress, not only will students increase their content knowledge, they will gain experience and expertise as learners, too. Unfortunately, most LMSs don't have features for students to view their own data and monitor their own progress. As you experience the value of event log data to inform your own teaching, you may feel frustrated by limitations of LMSs to make it available to you. When you do, push back for improvements to log reporting, and at the same time, don't forget your students. They need equal access to their own data, too.